Whoa! It's me, Lamont. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm back. It's been a real long time since I've made video. <clears throat> um, I'd like to say that's because I've been working on a real low frequency vibe lately. Like, real low frequency. So, uh, I don't know, just depressed. Not getting things done, laying in bed, you know, just the whole nine yards. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm out here. I just got done skating at Anthem. Um, met a kid whom I'm really bad with names. Brett? Braden. Braden? Gary. Not Gary. I don't know. Some kid. I was talking to him. He sat, he just sat down next to me, started talking. And he was cool, he was cool. At first we were talking good and I had the same name as his dad, so that was pretty interesting. And uh, you know, it was fun. And then halfway through the conversation though, this dude starts talking about drop shipping. <laughs> Which I was like, like he mentioned it twice I could tell he just want he's he must tell this to everyone, dog. Talk talk their ear off about drop shipping. So what drop shipping basically is, is you're the middleman between China and the United States and you resell products on like Amazon and shit and you make cut off that stuff. And that's that's basically what it is. This dude was obsessed with it. Oh my god, he was obsessed. Like <laughs> drop shipping. Oh, you need to look into it. Oh, you need to look into it. Uh, I was like, okay, I bet. Like, I have looked into it. This dude is obsessed with it, though. And, you know, it was kind of an enlightening experience talking to him because I saw a lot of myself in him. He dropped out of college, which I have done. I wouldn't say I dropped out because I, I, I finished my first year of college. Okay, I finished my first year of college. Um, he dropped out, and how he was describing it, he, oof, made me be like, damn, I need to get back in. <laughs> he was talking about just how lost he was, basically. Like, yeah, like, I don't know, since I don't have a degree, I can't really go do this or that, so I kind of have to, like, rely on internet money. And I was like, damn, like, that's kind of what I'm thinking, I just don't tell that to people. <laughs> so it's like, fuck. It kind of made me have some realizations, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was very nice, thank you for that enlightening conversation that made me want to get back and go to school. Because my, when he was talking about that, my only fucking thoughts that were going through my head were like, oh, this kid's making a mistake. <laughs> so, so I had to be like, wait, am I making a mistake? Because I'm doing the same shit. So, probably, you know? You know? Like, probably. I could do all the things I like, all my extracurricular shit that I like while going to school too. So, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to school for sure. For sure. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it was pretty enlightening talking to that kid. It's really interesting while you talk to certain people, how they just, like, have no, like, comprehension of how the conversation should be going, or for how you are taking in their information. Like, just no concept of, like, like, attention span, or, like, what they're saying they, they basically just speak and then just don't listen to what the other person's saying like I was halfway through that drop shipping conversation because this dog he had to say you should look into it like a hundred times which is cool like I get you're passionate about it but I was like I will I will okay so yeah it was just like what the heck, dude? But halfway through this conversation, I was just like, yep, uh-huh. I mean, after the first, you should look in. After the third, you should look into it. It's like, all right, all right, relax, relax, you know? 
So I was just kind of nodding my head saying, yeah, 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 yeah. And he never gave it up. And I kept felt, kind of felt bad, like, I'm not even listening to this guy anymore. But, I mean, dude, dude, he should, like, like, if he just stopped for a second and shut down his brain chatter and just looked at me and, like, how I was responding, he would have been, like, just stopped. He would have just stopped. Stopped. But, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He had to go take a shit. And I haven't seen him leave yet. He left his jacket there, so that means... He's coming back. I don't know. I left. I left. I can't talk about dropshipping anymore. I can't do it. I can't talk about dropshipping. So, uh, I don't care for it. Well, no, no. I, I, I just, I, 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 let me get back on track here. I was just shocked by his lack of attention to the conversation. Certain other people do that too, and it's just like, it's astounding to me. It's astounding. I don't know, I saw a lot of... I, I raised the question to this guy. I raised the question... So, he, he started going on, if I had an, a Lamborghini in front of my face and my dream girl in front of my face, I would take the Lamborghini and sell it and buy a cheaper Lamborghini and pocket the cash. And my response was, so you'd give up your dream girl for 200,000 K? And then his response was, well, you know, not like 200,000. <laughs> so what, like 300,000? Like, what are you talking about? So you'll take your car over your dream girl. And then his, he thought, he said, well, your dream girl, you don't, you don't know she'll stay with you forever. A car you can keep forever. I was just like, damn, this dude really believes that. Which is kind of true to a fact, you don't know if your girl's going to stay with you, but I mean, that love is something to, to take that chance with, because that shit is strong. But yeah, it's just funny, like, like people are so blind. Like, take the love, take the love, not the 200,000K, <laughs> or the Lamborghini. And you know, he was kind of talking about it, the only reason why he likes Lamborghinis is just because people look at you and it makes you feel like a superstar. Just be a superstar, and those motherfuckers will look at you. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, motherfucker, alright? Just be that, be a fucking superstar, and those motherfuckers will look at you. You don't need no Lamborghini. I'll be a goddamn superstar in a 2002 Honda Civic, okay? I wish, I wish more people could feel the same way. But they don't. They don't. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's been, this is interesting, interesting. Very thought-provoking. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Alright, it's Lamont, it's getting a little long, so peace. Yeah.